Almost 20 years ago now, at the time of RuneScape Classic, random events weren't a thing. In 2002, the game introduced a fatigue system, which was displayed alongside your skills. It was shown as a percentage, and your fatigue level rose while you skilled, with very precise increments for whatever skill action you were doing. Lower level actions gave very small amounts of fatigue, but higher level methods could give 5% per action. For example, if you were thieving heroes, which in RS Classic, were the highest level thieving method that was out there, each pickpocket would give you 5.7% fatigue, which meant you could only do 18 pickpockets before needing to rest. You restored yourself by sleeping in either a bed, anywhere across RuneScape, or in a sleeping bag. Sleeping in a bed restored your fatigue a lot faster than a sleeping bag, although sleeping bags were still far more commonly used since you could use them anywhere. Sleeping bags were only released in May of 2003, so beds were the only option for a while, which resulted in far lower XP rates in all of the skills. While resting, a very old style capture appeared, and to exit the resting screen, you need to complete it, which was a tool used to stop bots at the time. A few years later, in 2004, RuneScape 2 was released, where that fatigue system was replaced with random events which are currently present in old school. These random events acted as RuneScape's bot protection system, with some random events being aggressive or teleporting players to new locations, which low-tier macros didn't know how to handle. Random events were entirely removed from RuneScape on the 24th of October 2012, where it was briefly outlined in the news post stating random events will no longer activate in-game, and another method of obtaining the costumes and emotes will be introduced. All of the old random event costumes can be bought from Ify in Varrock on RS3, and upon buying any of those sets, you unlock its particular set of emotes. All of the random events from the 24th of October 2012 got new homes scattered all across RuneScape. Evil Bob the Cat can be found at Scape Rune through the Fairy Ring CIS. You can play the random event as it used to be, but there are no rewards. The Sandwich Lady can be found in Ardi, running her own market stall. If you're caught stealing from her, you'll feel the wrath of her baguette. Leo the Gravedigger can be found in the church in East Ardi, and the dragon from the surprise exam is a professor at the Varrock Museum. So we all know what a random event is, but what exactly does your player have to do to spawn a random event? No one actually knows exactly how, but some players have worked out the basics. The concept of randoms are kept very quiet on Jagex's end, which is assumed to be because random events are tied a lot into Jagex's bot detection system. Upon logging into RuneScape, the game starts a timer for your account, and after five minutes, your account is given the chance of getting a random. Every five minutes, minutes after that, you get another chance of a random, provided your account meets a certain piece of criteria, which has never been clearly disclosed by Jagex. Players assume that it involves some combination of actions like opening a door, exiting an instance, or gaining some experience. Old School RuneScape was released with some dangerous randoms, which were all removed in an update in September of 2014. Old School RuneScape was released to the public in February of 2013, so this update was about a year and a half after Old School came public. The dangerous random events included ones like the high-level zombie that appeared while you're burying bones, or a shade could also appear as well. Both of those monsters have been relocated to the bottom floor of the Stronghold of Security. While you're fishing, a river troll could appear, dealing a lot of damage and usually killing players that were AFK. There was the rock golem, which spawned while you were mining, and the tree spirit from woodcutting. These three random events all have new homes in the Enchanted Valley on Old School RuneScape. You can get there with the BKQ Fairy Ring. By chopping any of the trees here, a tree spirit appears. When mining any of the rocks on the southern end, a rock golem appears. And the river troll can spawn while you're fishing at one of the fishing spots. Tree spirits and rock golems are now excellent ways to get a rune axe or pickaxe for iron men. The Evil Chicken random event was the most mysterious one of the dangerous randoms, where it could spawn under any circumstance, even if you were AFK doing nothing. Despite its daunting combat level, the chicken was always very weak, with very low max hits. 
making it a killable monster if you brought some food. Upon killing her, you could get up to 750 feathers, but since the 2014 update, the evil chicken was relocated to the Champions Guild and can now only drop a maximum of 250 feathers. Also in that random event removal update, we saw some more dangerous randoms disappear, but these ones you couldn't fight back. Firstly, there was Captain Hand, who can now be found in the Port Sarum jail. He would show up next to a player thinking you're part of his crew, and if you ignored him for a minute, he started attacking you with his crossbow, and you had no option to attack back. He was very accurate and attacked very fast, so many players would panic and run away as fast as possible to stop him. Little did they know that you could talk to Captain Hand while he's attacking you and he stops killing you and gives you a reward. A similar one was the Swarm, which randomly appeared and started damaging you for small but consistent hits. All you had to do was walk a little bit away and it would disappear. As well as those combat random events, Jagex removed some of the more creative random events out of the game as well. There was the strange box, which the mysterious old man would give to you randomly. When you open it, you were asked a puzzle, and when you got it right, you'd get gems and some coins. If you left the box in your invent, it would duplicate, slowly filling up your inventory, which would have certainly confused some bots back in the day. While you were teleporting, you'd sometimes end up in an abyssal room called Lost and Found. Here, you needed to pull the odd lever out to teleport to the location you were going to. If you pulled the wrong lever, you'd get jolted and damaged. Jagex also removed the randoms that damaged your items and equipment. While woodcutting, trees could turn into ants, and if you continued to cut with your axe, it would chip and similar would happen to your pickaxe if you continue mining a rock that started smoking. To repair any of these, you take it to Bob in Lumbridge. And if your account had any of those items before that removal update, they were reverted to their normal items so that there wasn't any discontinued items in old school. There was also fishing whirlpools, which stopped you from fishing and this allowed you to continue fishing at that spot for a few minutes. Also, when fishing, there was a giant fish that could come up and steal your equipment and it would spit it out and throw it nearby. All of those were removed on the 11th of September in 2014, so a year and a half after old school came out. That of course still left all of the quiz and puzzle random events that we know of today. In that removal update, random events also became optional, showing how ineffective they were on modern day bots. Well, that was a bit of a journey down memory lane. I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. I certainly really enjoyed making it. So if you want to see more videos like this one, drop a like on the video to let me know. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more old school RuneScape content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.